Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my short course on linear algebra in two dimensions. This course is a teaser for a more comprehensive course on general linear algebra and is meant to give you an idea of what linear algebra is about. Depending on your preference, you can view linear algebra as the calculus of vectors and matrices or as the geometry of linear equations. It is used in basically every area of mathematics or wherever mathematics is applied to solving problems, uh, making it the most fundamental discipline in mathematics. So it is well worth studying. Now, why do I want to make this course? The idea is to study concepts of linear algebra in a simple setting, which is the geometry of the plane. So just two coordinates, something you are probably familiar with from school. And I want to develop ideas and the intuitions of linear algebra that you can then later apply in more general situations. So when you study linear algebra in higher dimensional vector spaces, you already have an, an image in your head for all the concepts that you will be learning there. I will not cover every possible detail, so I will just focus on conveying the main ideas and giving you some geometric intuition behind all the algebraic concepts. Nevertheless, you can gain some practical knowledge from this short course for simple applications. For example, if you want to play around with two-dimensional computer graphics, then what you will learn here might be quite helpful. As a prerequisite, I expect that you have some understanding of school trigonometry, like sine, cosine, Pythagoras theorem, and I will rely on elementary geometry a little bit for the geometric basis of this course. You should have some basic knowledge of logic and set theory. So some ideas on how a proof is done or be familiar with set notation. And if you want to brush up on that, I recommend you watch chapters one to three of my YouTube course on introduction to mathematics. And at some point later in the course, complex numbers will appear, so it would be helpful if you have some knowledge on those, but even if you don't, you should still be able to grasp the main ideas of those parts of the course. And I plan on eventually making a course on numbers on my YouTube channel, so then you would have something to look up the what complex numbers are and what their properties are, but at the time of making this video, I do not have this course done yet. The contents of this course are roughly as follows. So first I will introduce coordinates and vectors so you know what we're actually dealing with. This Probably this is familiar to you from school, but even if it's not, then you get an introduction here. Then I will introduce matrices and linear transformations, or also called linear maps, as uh, yeah, geometric operations performed on these vectors in the plane. Then we will study linear equations, which naturally arise when you deal with vectors and matrices. Moving on to some more advanced topics, such as bases and invertible matrices and changes of the coordinate system. Then I throw in a little treat by looking at the Iwasawa decomposition of a matrix, which uh, gives you a, a very good understanding of how linear maps are composed from certain well-understood types of geometric transformations. And next we will be looking at determinants, which are a great tool when studying linear maps and systems of linear equations. And finally, we will study eigenvalues and eigenvectors, where eigenvalues are also uh, very helpful when we want to characterize linear maps in a geometric way. So. I hope you will enjoy this course and I will see you in the first video on coordinates and vectors.